This video is proudly sponsored by Simply Safe Home Security. What's going on YouTube fam? Mike here shooting another high adventure video. A few weeks back we were here, I was catching frogs using candy. Go check out that video. After that video, I had a guy by the name of A.A. Ron, or Aaron, depending on where you grew up. Uh, he told me, bro, you should try catching frogs uh, using a blow dart gun. Of course, that sounds ridiculously fun. So, I promptly went out, check this out. I made my own blow dart gun along with my own little darts. Now, if you wanna know how I made the gun and blow darts, I'll have a little link in the description below or something will pop up like right here. Click on that and I'll take you step by step on how I made all of this stuff at home really cheaply. So we are taking this out for the maiden voyage for the first time today. That was kind of redundant, maiden voyage for the first time. We're taking it out for the first time. That's what I'm trying to say. We are going to see if we can blow dart some frogs. We are basically upping our game from catching them on candy catching them using plastics to now we are going to go full manhunt for them with our blow dart gun. I also have with me my trusty Hobie kayak. We might be jumping into that later today, but we're gonna start the hunt on foot. I got nothing else to say, so let's just get hunt. It's nice and warm today. It's gonna be like 95 degrees, so I'm hoping those froggies will be out in the water enjoying the cool springs down here. No frogs there. Keep looking. Okay, I've spotted my first bullfrog. Unfortunately, he's all the way on the other side of this creek. He's right over there. Curse you. It looks like a really nice size one though. We might try to wade over to the other side so we can get a little closer. That's gonna be tough though. That's pretty deep. We gotta give it a try though. That's the first frog we've seen. All right, we're wading around here. Almost there. Right on the other side of this rock. There he is, right there. He's just looking at me. Almost got it. Just barely, barely underneath him. He's gone. Dang it. That barely just landed barely underneath him. I just needed a little more velocity on it. That was a good look too. Should have capitalized on that. Dang it. Oh, so close. Well, that is a bummer. All right, well, we gotta keep moving. We might come back, see if he's still there or not. Check it out, big old sturgeon right there. Probably about four feet long. Just came busting out of the weeds right there. I spooked him. Cool. Hold up, what is that? What in the world am I looking at here? Oh, there he goes. That was weird. I think I see one right down here. Yeah, that's definitely a frog. Let's see if we can get him. Saw something that looked like it was struggling. Wait, wait. There's something struggling. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. There's my dart. I do okay, so I just found my dart. I did hit him. I did hit him. Where is he? That's crazy. So I did hit him. I shot him over there. I saw some splashing over here and recovered my dart. All the way over here. I've been looking around all over there thinking he was somewhere down in the weeds. He'll have to come back up again. Maybe we'll get him when he's on the surface. Okay, so there's another one way back up in here. Kind of difficult to see. Put that right in just like that. It's way back up in there. I think I got him. I think I got him. Did I get him? Oh, I think I got him. Yes! I shished kabod. Look at this. Oh yeah, I got him. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my word. Look at that. Went straight through him. Boom. He's done. Oh, our first frog. 
Look at that. Whoa. Nailed him. He's done. He's done. Game over. I must have gotten like a heart shot or something like that because he's he's not even moving. Wow. Guys, look at that. We did it. We made our own blow dart gun. Came out here and got a frog. Let's see if we can get a few more. All right, quick status update. We are moving the hunt to the water. We're going to discontinue on foot and uh, jump in our kayak. I see a little frog right down here. I've seen probably like three dozen like little frogs. Uh, so it just might not be a great year for frogs, but we did get one, not very big, but hey, at least it's something. I'm not a total failure today. It's starting to set into evening. It's like the hottest part of the day right now. It's like four or five o'clock. Uh, so hopefully these frogs, if they're gonna be out, they're gonna be out right now. So let's get out in the pond and uh, see if we can do a little better from the boat. Hoping to see some up on the bank, kind of just sitting like hugging next to the bank. I see one way back there. Yeah, that's definitely one. I could just see a little bit of the orange from his bottom lip. That'll do. I missed him, but he didn't move. Let's try it again. Did I get him? No, nope, both my darts are back here. I missed him. Just a little high. Shoot. Gotta keep looking. He kind of turned right at the last minute. Didn't give me the best angle, but still, when I missed him the first time, you don't get two chances very often. And now, a word from our sponsor. Hello, YouTube fam. I'm here to talk to you about home security. Now, if you're like me, your security system is probably a little dated. And while there's no substitute for that look on a home intruder's face moments before you smoke them with a war hammer, let's be honest, this method is a little dated. Well, that's where Simply Safe Home Security Systems comes into play. To start, you simply go online or pick up the phone and order the security package of your choosing and it will get delivered straight to your doorstep. Upon arrival, you are mere moments away from having your entire household monitored by a professional service 24 seven. Now guys, resist the urge here to throw away the instruction manual and go for a do it yourself install. Seriously, the manual will have you up and running in a matter of minutes. All you need to do is unpack the base station, plug it in and you're in business. Now all that's left to do is unpack these security accessories and place them where you want them. And with each monitor and sensor coming with an easy peel and stick attachment, setup is a breeze. This is truly a must have for any outdoor enthusiast to ensure that your property stays safe while you're away enjoying the great outdoors. Seriously, this system is so easy to set up and run that this toddler could do it. Why is there an entry sensor and a security camera on the mini fridge? Seriously, what could you possibly have in here that's that? Well played, little man. Yes, folks, do what I did and get yourself a brand new security system and let the professionals at Simply Safe keep you and your most precious possessions secure. Oh, I'm keeping the Warhammer. So the one we missed with two shots, he's sitting back up in here again. I'm gonna see if we can ease back up. Did I get him? I got him. I got him. I think he's just laying on the surface. I think I just totally got a headshot. Come on. Come on. He's just sitting there. He's just sitting there. I'm gonna have to hop out. Okay, I don't know if he's gonna move or not. Oh no, he's not moving. He's not moving. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Look at that! That is what you call boom headshot. Now that's the kind of toady we're looking for. Oh my goodness. If I were playing Call of Duty, I think that's an extra 100 points right there. One shot, one kill right there. Woo! Homemade blow dart gun for the win. That's the kind of frog we've been after. Take that out. Boom. He gone. Yes! Oh, are you kidding me? That was awesome. That was awesome. 
There's one. Actually, he's all the way out of the water. He's on land right over here. We're gonna see if we can nestle up alongside this log here without disturbing him. Get a shot off. I missed him, but he's like totally unfazed. Let's try it again. Got him, got him. Oh, oh, he's, oh, he's floundering, he's floundering. He's floundering, he's over there. Let's go get him. Let's see, where'd he go, where'd he go? That was a solid hit, he couldn't have gone far. So I checked out my camera and it looks like I got him in the bottom lip. It wasn't a headshot, so basically it's tantamount to like hooking a fish. So if he was able to push that back out, he'll be fine. It'll just, like I said, it's basically like hooking a fish and then releasing it. Um, so he'll be okay. I'm gonna come back though, just in case. It was a better shot than I thought. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, but he swam off, unfortunately. I needed a headshot. It needed to be up about another quarter of an inch and we would have got him. That one might have got away, but uh, we'll come back and double check. I don't know guys, I haven't seen any more. I'd like one more. I'd really like one more froggy. Let's see if there's some froggies hanging out back here. Whoa, getting a little tight here. A lot of ducks. We could shoot a duck. Probably a massive find for that. So we'll just go ahead and stick to frogs. Oh, got a froggy right over here. Oh, there you go. Man, this has been so much fun. I'm really surprised at how deadly accurate that blow dart gun is. Again, if you guys wanna see how I made it, check it out in the video that I made separate. Link in the description below. All right, let's see if our friend who got his bottom lip pierced here by yours truly is still hanging out. Anywhere around here, buddy? Kind of coming in hot. Well, if you were here, you're probably not here anymore. Wait a second. I see one on the bank right up here. Wait a second. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I, do I see the white? I think I see my barb still in him. Are you serious? Let's see, that's him right down there. Oh, I think that is. I think that's our barb protruding out of him. Oh my goodness. Okay, he's gonna give us a second shot. Let's see if we can get him. Let's grab our sharpest one here. This guy hasn't been used at all today. It's gonna be a tough shot. I can barely see him. I'm standing on this branch, which probably isn't the best idea. Here we go. Got him, got him, got him. He's got two of them in him. He's got, I got him, I got him. Yes, come on. Oh yeah, body shot, baby. Body shot, oh, look at this. Yes, look at that. Look. Oh my goodness, look, boom. We got him, we got him. Whoa, shish kebab frog right there, guys. Look, that first one, right through the bottom of the lip. Second one, I might've got, got him right in the heart, it looks like. He's done, look at that, he's gone. That must've got him right in the heart. Yes, we came back, we got him. I feel a lot better about that. That way he's not suffering. I like that, I like that. All right, I think that concludes our day. Let's get these frogs home. I've got a little lady at the house who's never had frogs before. I actually have two little ladies at the house who have never eaten frog before. So I think we're gonna get home let them have a taste. All right, YouTube fam, I have a confession to make. So I shot four frogs today and you might be thinking, wait, he shot three and one of them got away. Well, I shot a fourth one, but it was too late by the time I realized that my camera was on time warp. It was this guy right here. Got a body shot on him, went straight through. Another decent sized one, not the biggest one of the day, but not the smallest. Uh, I guess I'll show you this time warp footage right now.
So there you go. As you can see, the footage isn't great, but I thought I would at least explain why I have all of a sudden four frogs in my live well. Basically, it was just a goober move by me. That's all I can say. Just chalk it up to being a goober. All right, back at my humble abode. Bella, what do you think? You ready to try some frog today? Yeah. <laughs> all right. That is the biggest one of the day. That's a big old porker. What do you say? Yeah, that's not too shabby right there. Well, let's get to cleaning and get to cooking and you get to try for the first time ever some frog leg. We're gonna get mommy to try some frog leg as well. Maybe. <laughs> for all of you who haven't cleaned frogs before, first, they're all dead, okay? I'll just make that clear. So nobody's suffering. We take the feet off first. Yeah, I'm taking the feet off. Oh, you have your own little knife there, I like it. Then you make a little cut on the back of the head. Then we just take a pair of pliers, grab that little skin piece right there, pull, and you just take all the skin right off. That's what we're after right there. That's our chunky legs. The chunky legs, that's right, young lady. Nice chunky pieces of leg meat right there. Do that to the rest of them and we'll be in business. All right, so we got a nice plate of frog legs there. What do you think, Bella? Disgusted out yet or are you still down to eat some? Um, uh, disgusting. You're disgusted? Okay, well maybe we'll try cooking them up. For the first recipe, we're just gonna do a little butter and salt and pepper. Keep it simple, especially for the youngin. Why are you picking your nose? I, I, I see that. Go wash your hands, you noodle. All right, butter's warming up nicely. Give him a nice hashtag butter bath. Actually, no, I want a bigger leg. There we go. Go with a little pepper first and a little salt. There we go. All right, then we just turn them a few times. I can grab the legs. Just let them cook. Do the frogs eat crawdads? Oh uh, yeah, frogs do eat crawdads, in fact. All right, got a little excited with the heat on the last ones, but we're gonna go ahead and throw the last legs in while we let the first legs cool down. <gasps> now I have here a little, what is this? Sesame ginger teriyaki sauce that a subscriber sent me. We're gonna pour a little of this over the next batch of frog legs. Let's see how teriyaki frog legs taste. It sounds like it would be pretty good. I don't think I've seen calf muscles that size before. Just a good reminder to never skip leg day. All right, Bella. Look, perfect compliment to the Cheetos that you have right there. Want to go ahead and give them a try? Um, no thank you. Oh, what? I thought we were all excited all day long to try some frog leg. All right, there's a little piece right there. Take a bite of that. Tell me what you think. Uh, <laughs> you don't like it? I've already devoured the last frog. We're gonna try Crockett. You want a tiny, tiny piece of frog leg? What do you think? Is that pretty good? Yeah, that's my boy. You want some more? That's what I'm talking about. Hooray! I guess you and I will have to go frog hunting together. YouTube fam, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I will see you in the next one.